Hi everyone, this video will show how you can disable Outlook on the web or OWA using PowerShell in Office 365. There are many reasons you would want to disable OWA, but in my case, we wanted to make sure a specific user wouldn't access his work email outside of work. Run PowerShell as an admin and connect to the Exchange online. I am already connected to the Exchange online. Please check the description area for those who want to know how to connect to the Exchange online using PowerShell. The feature is enabled by default, but I want to show how you can check because we're going to use this command later on. Command is get dash CAS mailbox dash identity. I'm going to use the user's email address or just a name. Here we can see what features are enabled for this user. We see here OWA is enabled. Also, we can see Active Sync is enabled plus Mappy and IMAP. Now I want to disable this OWA. This time I'm going to use set dash CAS mailbox. And the command is, as I mentioned, C set dash CAS mailbox. Identity will be the same person. It is enabled, so I'm going to use dollar sign, false, and it says completed. And if I go back and check, we'll see here, OWA enabled is false. Now let's log in as the user and see what would happen if OWA is equal to false. So I logged into office.com with this user's account. Now I'm going to click on Outlook. I just want to see what would happen. So when I click on Outlook and log in with the username and password, I get this error message here. So what we did here, we just disabled OWA. And even if the user logs into office.com, he cannot be able to check his email. All he can do just uh, go to Word, Excel, or anything that is on a cloud. He can access those, but not the email. And that was our goal. One thing I just want to uh, mention here, when I use the PowerShell to disable OWA, it took a few hours. So keep in mind, it's not going to happen right away. You have to wait. If you go to Exchange Online Admin Center, you'll see that setting is disabled from there. I could have done it from uh, Exchange Admin Center, but I decided to use PowerShell. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. See you all next time.